Joe Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are looking at Stalker from Wave 4 of Super 7's G.I. Joe Ultimate. Uh, yesterday was Baroness, day before was Gung Ho, tomorrow will be Zartan. But today we are focusing on my personal favorite Joe, the one who leads my troops into battle, Stalker, the coolest of the cool. And I gotta tell you right off the bat, I'm a little worried about his web gear situation here. Things look a little crooked, uh, but maybe it'll be fine. On the box, we've got some cool shots of Stalker from the animation. Got a file card, but uh, none of that matters because we have got to open this thing up and get into this figure. And let me tell you that I realized because I, I uh, reviewed Gung Ho and Baroness earlier today, and I am reviewing. It's been a few hours. And I got a bunch of work done, did some other stuff, and now I'm returning to this. And these figures make me so happy. Now, yes, there are little eh, flaws here and there. They're not perfect. But what these figures represent takes me to such a, a, a place of pure joy. Which, of course, is what nostalgia is all about, right? But just seeing these Sunbow designs, look at all the weaponry, blasters come with this guy. Uh, it, this is just pure joy in a box. It really is. Seeing that camouflage design, those portraits, like just everything about this line is just absolutely wonderful. Which... I can say about most Sunbow uh, releases, really. It's why I love the company so much. Uh, everything, or almost everything, I'm not going to say everything they do. I'm not into every single release. Uh, but the way that Sunbow does things, or Sunbow, Super 7 does things, and so much of what they do represents that pure joy that's in my mind, which is why, you know, to, to the uh, frustration of some, I can see past a lot of the flaws, or maybe not see past the flaws, but not let the flaws affect my experience with the toys uh, as much as it does some other people. And people get really mad about that. If you're not exactly as angry as they are, exactly as put out as they are over the thing, then uh, it can cause some real rage and fury in some people. I know that's news to most of you because you're all kind, decent human beings. Uh, but some folks out there get really upset if you don't think exactly the same way that they do. Uh, and I will say, though, that this web belt is definitely on crooked. Hmm. Like, I'm going to set the tray to the side because this belt may be on returning it crooked. That's ah, pretty bad. And there's no, it is glue. Oh, look at this. He's also got a big crack in his side. Huh. Well, it's not so much a crack as just the pieces aren't joined together as well as they should be. Uh, I gotta say, I think this guy's going back. I ordered direct from Super 7, so I will be contacting Super 7 to get a replacement. But until then, we will go ahead and review this guy. Beyond those flaws, it's funny, I, I, you know, talking about flaws, and there we go. So let's take a look close up. I, I love this camo so much. It's so, it's such cartoony camo. Uh, portrait, fantastic. The beret looks great. The hair looks great. Uh, the sculpt, I mean, that is 100% our Sunbow Stalker. That's going to just rip if I try and pull that around anymore. And there's no point in trying to adjust this because this is, as you can see, this is glued on 
Well, it's glued on the sides here, and then there's a sort of peg situation uh, that keeps it in place in the front, but it is definitely crooked. And it almost seems, well, okay. Huh. Now I'm not sure. Let's see here. I don't know if you guys can overhear the dog going bonkers upstairs. Should be fine. I'm sure everything is fine. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out exactly how this belt is. So it's glued on the sides here. So this side is just glued up a little. Well, see, but it's not glued here. It's glued here. So is it really more that that strap is pulling at it? Hmm. Oh, look. This is off-center. That's why... Man, why would you design this to have to be so precise and not have more of a margin, of, margin for error? So in the back, this is not straight. So it's pulling further this way than it should be, which is pulling up on the belt right here. Uh, but, but also these seams are not joined. So I'm going to be contacting super seven. Let's move along. Enough about that. Uh, otherwise the figure looks great. The colors are perfect. He does not have the ratcheting hip joints that gung ho has. Uh, he does have different legs. Gung Ho's legs are thicker, I believe, and a little taller. But Gung Ho has, as you saw in Monday's review, ratcheting hip joints. Stalker does not, but Stalker can sit down, which is a big difference. In the, you can see the, some of the, well, you can see some of the paint loss right there, but you can see the I guess that's plasticizer in the knees. It'll wipe right off. That's not a big deal. Uh, you've got the boots that are very Sunbow animation boots. Standard ankle joints. Uh, he lo I mean, he looks great. If everything was uh, manufactured the way it was supposed to be manufactured, he would be near perfect. Which is a thing that I say a lot about Super 7. Uh, all right, let's set him over here. We'll take a look at the alternate portraits. We've got kind of a smiling portrait. You can see the difference in the eyebrows. Like, well, this is really more of a neutral portrait. This is a serious face portrait. Uh, and then we've got the Yojo angry, yelling, whatever you want that portrait to be. Uh, also looks great. We have the dynamite from the opening of the show. Or the, I guess it's a bomb. Once you put a timer on dynamite, it's a bomb, right? Is that terminology correct? I apologize for the schmutz on my finger there. I was working on a doorknob uh, earlier. Today has not been... Had a lot of challenging days lately. Uh, he has got a canteen that, I don't know. I don't know that it, it doesn't need to be removable because it's not like it's functional at all. It is just something to stick on his belt. So I, I didn't, uh, I like it as a detail. Uh, as far as I know, it's there in the animation. I can't say I've, I've ever noticed it, but uh, it, it just gives a little more to the figure. But it being removable doesn't really seem necessary. He has got the same binoculars that we've seen uh, elsewhere in the line. Nice paint job. No paint on the lenses. Paint on the lenses would have been nice. Uh, and then he's got the same little two-way radio, maybe? I don't know if I've ever really determined exactly what this thing is supposed to be. They all say 802. Uh, they're all designed the same. Seems like a radio. Uh, you've got a Sunbow Blaster Pistol. I love this cartoon weaponry. 
Uh, you have Stalkers, the one, the original blaster that came with the original Stalker figure. Looks great. Uh, pretty rigid. Pretty solid. Uh, the stock, I mean, it's, you can see how flexible the thinner parts are, but I'd rather this be flexible than rigid because now if you drop it, it's not going to snap. Uh, so that's great. He has got the M16 that has become, or excuse me, the rifle blaster. I don't know. Uh, there's become common in the line. You can see the barrel's a little bit bent. Not great. I'll heat it up though. And again, this is a little more rigid. Uh, and then finally, the G.I. Joe laser rifle. Also quite a curve to that. So we'll heat that up as well. Uh, but looks great. Sculpt is fantastic. I like that there's paint on it. Uh, and then he's got alternate hands for interacting with his accessories. And you saw it earlier, the Sunbow Purple Jump Jetpack that I absolutely love. Uh, and that actually goes on the figure like a backpack. I will take that over the peg all day long, as long as it fits properly. Which, so far with Super 7 stuff, the, or the ones they've designed like this anyway, uh, it does. Fits nicely on there. So we need to give him a trigger finger. I don't know why I'm doing this if I'm going to return him. Well, we've still got to put on a nice show for the video, right? Of course we do. Um, I believe this will be accurate to something somewhere. Given the pistol, the hand blaster, whatever you want to call it. Oh, and he can even look up to a pretty decent degree. Now, can he hold the dynamite is the question. Because it kind of doesn't look like there's a great hand for that. Hmm. See, he seems like he should have one of the wider C-grip hands. Okay, well, you can make that work. So, there he is. Hopefully, I can get another one where these the little minor flaws around the waist there are corrected. And I will have a beautiful Sunbow G.I. Joe Ultimate Stalker to fly into battle. This figure is great. Design-wise, great manufacturing production. Uh, manufacturing execution-wise, uh, has, has some issues. So we'll contact Super 7 and get that straightened out. We should be good to go. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about needless things. And until next time, yo, Joe. Smash that like button if you like needless things.